Good morning, friends. How are you guys today? I am just about to sit down and eat my breakfast. I've got two fried eggs here and my smoothie. We're all ready to start school. I've got the board filled out. So this is what I do to start our day. I have all of our subjects for the day written down. This looks like a whole ton of ease, but some of these are really quite simple. Like that's just their morning devotions. Elijah, did you do your morning devotions yet? Oh, no. Okay, why don't you go do those now? I think everyone else is done. And then we can start school. Okay. Um, everyone's gonna type out a poem today. So I have all their letters written down and then as they complete their subjects, they just erase their letter. Can't forget to put some pepper on my eggs. I was just sitting and eating my breakfast and a package was dropped off at the front door. I just ordered for myself from Under Armour a couple of new sports bras. We're gonna try these out and see. I really, really wanted to find something that has the sewn in pads. There's no like pads that are gonna be falling out because I'll tell you what, it drives me nuts. Every time I have to wash a sports bra, I put it in a lingerie bag, which I guess I should do anyways, regardless. Um, but then like you take it out and it's all folded and you have to rearrange, like why? I never wanna take the pads out of my sports bras, so can they just stay in? Uh, so I ordered this one in black, my other one is white. The tricky part for me is sizing, and yeah, I probably should just go in store and try them on, but Under Armour is super easy to return to, so I just order them. If they don't fit, I return them. It's pretty simple but my shoulders, rib cage, all that is definitely a medium, but the actual, you know, bra part here is small. So depending on where I shop, sometimes I can get away with a medium, sometimes I can get away with a small. Here's the other one. They were both on sale this weekend, so that's why I like shopped when I could. Um, one is just like the pullover, the black one here is a uh, zip up the front. So that's that's one reason why. They were on a great sale this weekend and so I thought, well, I'll buy them now because if I wait till I'm in store, I'm not necessarily gonna get those sales. Update, they both fit. I was actually really surprised and I wasn't even planning to try them on this morning and then I was like, I just can't wait, I wanna see. Um, and I ordered one based on like size charts and people's reviews. I ordered one in size small and one in size medium and they both fit perfectly. I'm super happy about that. Um, really happy about that. After Christmas, I had ordered two that were on sale and uh, had to return them both. <laughs> so that was annoying. And so I didn't really have high hopes for this one, but super glad about that. We are just getting started on some handwriting. Everybody's doing their handwriting books. Looks like I already have something to check. Hey, Simeon, mm -hmm. did you do two pages? Two pages, yep, maybe. Okay. The kids have been really happy lately with these two new games we've been trying. So this one is a super slide game. And then this one is super blocks. We should have gotten more because two isn't enough for five kids. And so, you know, it's hard. We take turns. But these are handheld games from the brand Geiker. Simeon is playing this game. It's the super blocks game. This one has a thousand built in games with different levels. So Simeon's starting at a pretty simple level to start with. It shows you in the left hand corner what color you're looking for. So you're starting with the red blocks and you have to find a way. Got it. Good job. Okay, on to your next level. This game can give hints, it can count down. It also comes with this nice little bag to keep your game in. Let's see, we're watching you. It's almost like a little brain teaser game. This game Elijah is playing is called the Super Slide. This one's fun. I actually sat down and played this one for a little while. The whole point is to get this red piece to the bottom. There's like a yep. magnetic, there you go, yes. You have to get that out of the way, yes, yep. And then move the red one down. Yay. Yes! So <laughs> the magnetic touch can feel once the red piece gets into that bottom center 
location. These two game consoles are just two of the games that the brand Geiker sells. These games are fun and accessible for all ages. They are great for on the go. And I'm just thinking about going on trips. These would be great for car rides and would make a great gift idea, like for birthdays or Easter coming up. Check all the links down below in the description if you want to check these out for your family. Thank you to Geiker for sponsoring today's video. The other kids are outside. What was that yawn for? Getting all wet in the rain and Wesley wanted to come inside. What did I say about coming inside? Do math. I said, okay, come on in, but it's time to do math. And this is perfect because we get some one-on-one -on -one time getting some math done, right? So what did you say you needed help with? Your word problem? Oh, okay. At Christmas, Mary had two candy canes. Where did your pencil go? This is like a, a daily problem. Wesley and Zara both, they're like in the middle of schoolwork. Oh, it's right here, Wesley, inside your book. And then, where did my pencil go? <laughs> How do you lose your pencil? That's my question. Okay, so did you hear what I said? Mary had two candy canes. Her sister Sue had one more than Mary. So how many candy canes did Sue have? Good job. Yeah, you guys can all come in. Just hang up your coats, put away your umbrellas. Here's Wesley's page of math. He's doing all of the plus ones and plus doing 10. awesome at it. And plus zero, okay, I don't think you've gotten any questions wrong in this whole lesson five. So let's turn the page. We're gonna skip one whole page and we'll go on to this one. Matthew C definitely has a lot of pages. Um, just helping them master each new concept. One. And so if my kids are going through and they trick are getting you. every question right, they're trying to trick you. you. Oh yeah, because they're mixing in some plus zeros. You're right. Uh, and he's, he's getting them all correct. Then we'll go ahead and skip a couple of pages because it's just a lot of repetition. And if they're getting it, there's no need to do all the pages. What is that noise for? Okay, how many hundred blocks? Yeah. And now the other kids are in. We're all going to do math. Everybody. Simeon is my lunch helper each day while the other kids are doing math here. He is getting carrot sticks ready for lunch. And I just told him, I love that you cut the carrot sticks so tiny. Uh, sometimes, you know, some of the kids will slice them and they're just like massive carrot sticks. Oh, I love Dad. them this Dad size. Does. Dad cuts them big too, yeah. Um, okay, so I just boiled some eggs too. Simeon, you're going to bring the eggshells to the compost. Yeah, perfect. And then Wesley needs to come and, and set the table for lunch. Those. Yeah. Just finished some lunch here. We watched a couple of videos to go with our gather round lesson as we were eating lunch. And just a, a post-lunch check in, update to see how everyone's doing on their schoolwork. Because Simeon helps me with math, or sorry, because he helps me with lunch while the other kids do math, he does math. What am I trying to say? While everyone else does math, Simeon helps me with lunch. So then after lunch, everybody else does, you know, sweeping the floor, washing dishes, and Simeon does math. So that's what you're reading right now? Yeah. Awesome. So he has math to do, Elijah does his science, everybody has reading, the girls have piano, and then everyone has to take their turns typing out their poem. And that's it. Almost done. Getting close. He came to a fat man. Having older kids mm -hmm. help the younger ones with their schoolwork is just, it's amazing. Uh, just before lunch, I had Charity doing her teaching textbooks math on the computer and she asked me something like, hey mom, do you know how to do this certain problem she needed help with? And I mean, I could have looked at it deeply and figured it out, but Elijah was right there. And I was like, Elijah, you've done this a whole lot more recently than I have. Can you just help Charity with how to do this next step? And so he helped her and it was lovely. I love seeing the, the teamwork. Just pouring myself an afternoon coffee here. Kids are finishing up some of their schoolwork behind me. I love this mug. If you don't know what show this is from, let me know down below in the comments. 
I think just about everybody does. No. Uh, but I will say my, I think it was my father-in-law actually that was over. And we gave him this mug with the coffee in it and he was like, bed and breakfast established 1829, wow. Uh, and I think Andrew and I just laughed or maybe we said it was from a show, but it was kind of funny. Just picking out a book to read to Wesley before he goes for quiet time. And I have, you know what, Wesley, some of your, some of the Easter books you left in your room, but I have this little stack of Easter books on the shelf over here. And one that I have not read yet to him is uh, this one, this one, and the, the Tale of Three, ta Tale of Three Trees. The what? And the Duckly Duck. The one. Duckly Duck. Okay. That. Well, right now we're reading The Tale of Three Trees, so why don't you carry that to the table? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Easter's so early this year, coming in March, which is not my favorite, Two. just because um, we have a late spring here. So March is usually pretty cold still. Now we have had a very, very warmer, much warmer than usual March. But to me, Easter means like bring out your spring dresses and wear something really nice and nice and springy. And even April is like this for us, but the e the earlier it goes, the more likely it's like we're all wearing sweaters and shoes over our nice Easter dresses, like no sandals. It's still, it's usually still pretty, pretty cool. Uh, often there's snow on the ground, end of March. I also got out just, we don't have a lot of spring and Easter decor, but what we have, I got all set out. Okay, Wesley. Come and have a seat. Let's read a book. Zara, are you going to listen to the book too? Usually the two of them like to listen while I read a story. Mm -hmm. Okay, this That's is a good one. The Garden, the Curtain, and the Cross, and this one, The Tale of Three Trees. I will link them both down below in the description box if you want to check them out, but they are probably... Oh, there's another one too called The Donkey That No One Could Ride. They're, hmm, those three for sure are my three favorite Easter books. Instead of just telling you about these three books, I figured I should show them to you. So this is the one I just read to Wesley, The Tale of Three Trees. It's a really cute story about three trees who have like great hopes and dreams for their lives. And then, you know, these woodcutters come and chop them down and are harsh with them. But then the one tree becomes a manger. He realizes that he gets to hold the greatest treasure in the world. Um, this tree becomes a boat and gets to show the miracles, Jesus saying, peace be still. And then the third tree, who wanted to grow like up to the heavens, instead becomes the tree that carries Jesus on the cross. And he realizes that his life points to Jesus. His tree will always point to Jesus. So that's the one, the tale of three trees. This one right here, I mean, if I had to choose one, I would choose this one as my top favorite, The Garden, the Curtain, and the Cross. It just gives the story of Easter so well, and not just the Easter story, but it goes back and shows what has been done. So at the beginning of time, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and how they sinned, and then because of their sin, they couldn't go back in. And look at the beautiful illustrations too. They couldn't go back in. Uh, and then it talks about the temple being built and the Holy of Holies and how there is a, um, the curtain in the temple that blocked them from going right into the Holy of Holies because of their sin, they couldn't go in. And then it talks about Jesus dying on the cross and how the, the veil ripped and how now, even with our sin, if we have asked Jesus into our hearts, we can go in because of Jesus dying on the cross. So really, really good one. This one is a, a cute little story, the donkey that no one could ride. This is the donkey that Jesus rides um, into Jerusalem, um, where everyone's shouting Hosanna and the palm branches and all that. And then the donkey realizes that he has a very special job carrying Jesus. Yeah, so another cute one. Oh, and this one, yeah. So Zara just brought me this one. I keep this one with our Easter books. I don't know why, because it's really not an Easter story, 
with the lost sheep and how the shepherd finds the lost sheep. So not really an Easter story, but it's by the same why. author as this one. Yes, I know why too. Because you gave us books for Easter and Sue yes. got that one, I got that one, Wesley years. got this one, and Zara got the yes. parents to embarrass Easter Sunday. Yes, it was years ago at Easter. This was their the Easter gifts, and so I just keep them with our Easter That's stuff. Really yes, good. it's because it's the same person who wrote it, and the reason it looks the same is because look, that's the illustrator. Do you know what an illustrator is? Yes, the person who um, writes the book. The and illustrator the is the person who um, writes the pictures. Draws the pictures. Yes. Yeah. So do you see how the illustrator is the same? And she and the, and and she dis Stefano. <laughs> Anthony Di Stefano. Yes, um, he was the, the, the author, right? Yeah. Words. So I will link these good books mm -hmm. down in the description. Okay, it's only like two o'clock, so for a day in the life video, what are you going to make with that? I don't know, it's just a You're just practicing. You could make like a dishcloth or something with that. Well it's too small. I could be like a Barbie no. kid blanket. Mm, yeah, that would work. <laughs> Uh, what I was saying, for a day in the life, you know, it's 2 o'clock. It's really just a, a morning and early part of the afternoon in the life. So I'm going to end this vlog. Make sure, again, that you check out Geiker. The kids have been, anytime we have a break from school today, they've been wanting to play these games, and I finally took them away and was like, okay, guys, everyone's going to go do their reading time. Uh, we can do more games after quiet time. But thank you for watching. Bye. I think the last vlog we ended... Me and you two girls. You two girls and me, I should say. All right, see you guys next time.